If you want news or rumors that appeal, welcome to the dust. If you want news or rumors that appeal, welcome to the dust. Uh, do we have sound now? <laughs> we should have we sound now. <laughs> we should have sound now? Yes. Okay. Welcome to Jordan Con on <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> so, uh, what, I, what, what we were just talking about was the amazing season three teaser we got to see yesterday. Yes. Yes. We got to see a cool teaser. Uh, we, we I'm, you know, wasn't enough? No. Yeah. Uh, it was not enough yeah. uh, because we need to just see the whole bloody season. The whole bloody season. But yes. uh, but obviously, they're, they're good at what they do. Yeah. Right? They and, and they, they gave us uh, something to, to whet our appetite and get us all a little bit pumped. Yes. Yes. And and, and because you missed me introducing, we have the distinguished professor at the Citadel, author, historian, but most important, you know, uh, a hardcore fan freak of the real time, Dr. Michael Lickinson. Hi. What's up? <laughs> so, um, yeah, well, we'll show you what we got yesterday in a little bit, but I wanted to have Dr. Livingston on and, you know, kind of chat. You know, we, we've got an adaptation of what seems like the first three books. Uh, How would you like season two? Uh, you know, season two was, uh, I thought they did a really great job. I mean, once again, the casting has been phenomenal. Um, I really like the way that they have, you know, they're inevitably they're making changes, but they're making changes for the most part, like, recognizably I see what you're doing why you're doing that um, and they're all fans of the show and that that is inevitably awesome yeah um, it could have gone the other way and you had people that weren't fans of the show and uh, that's not what happened here so um, I'm, I'm generally very pleased as people follow me on Twitter there's stuff that like <laughs> like gets me but uh, but I'm I'm very happy with that. so the, those fletchings that you what do you have to yeah. what, 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 oh my god yeah the the that's not how you remove an, um, an arrow. 
Uh, that's uh, so many things go wrong there. Right, so many right. things go wrong. Um, do you have a favorite, like you know, scene or a- a cast? Uh, not, not cast, more character from season two. A favorite Forsaken. Uh, well, I mean, everybody loves Landfear uh, for good reason. She did phenomenal. Yes. Um, really, really, really did phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and you know, was not with you know that 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 arc right and that that sort of plot is sort of new but it works so well right and so i she just killed it um she was phenomenal um i don't know that i have a favorite scene um yeah i can't really think of a favorite scene honestly um i had one for season one okay but for season two it all it all was really even and really you know i enjoyed it yeah yeah i mean season two was I think introduced a lot of new people, you know, they, yeah. the Aiel, even though we saw a little bit of the Aiel. The, so, season three yeah. is the Shadow Rising. And what we know now is, you know, Ruidian, uh, Rafe has said Ruidian. Yes. So, we're going to get that. Yes. Uh, is the sh- I, know, I know, I think you've said the Eye of the World is your kind of favorite. It is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But the Shadow Rising is a great book. The Shadow Rising is a phenomenal book. Uh, you know, parts of Dragon Reborn are incredible right you know yeah. stone of tear right um and the the sort of battle taking that which i've always thought uh, jim uh, jordan did a uh, remarkable job of uh you know kind of bringing the threads together for that moment yeah. so i i yeah shadow rising ruidian what are they gonna do there there's so many things you can do um they have a big battle so maybe they should be calling someone to to help with that <laughs> right uh i don't know <laughs> there might be somebody in the world who knows about how battles function um yeah got that 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 battle at Falm. what what on earth my god <laughs> you're gonna we're gonna cavalry charge that's a city wall i don't okay. know right. i don't know and 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 the tower is it at the at the at the back of the the that fortress that's what they're what they're, they're trying to get to with the cavalry right yeah right yeah and we're gonna cavalry charge the city wall um, somehow unseen because of a fog made by sensors, which don't make... And, well, anyway. Fantasy um, magic world. This is... Sh- <laughs> sure, with no <laughs> physics. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, hopefully the uh, hopefully we'll get some good stuff, you know, yeah. for battles. Battles are hard because your, your uh, you know, production, there's only so much money. Right. Right? Those are incredibly expensive. Yeah. Um, and, and inevitably... There's a lot of well, we think this would look cool as opposed to you know whatever. So yeah, um, so we'll see. I'm hoping I'm going to get, get some really good ones. Yeah, and I think you know, in terms of the Battle of the Two Rivers, that's what we're talking about. It's the Shadow Rising. So if you're here and you have not read the Shadow Rising, what's the matter with you? Yeah, <laughs> but um, there are emotional beats to that to yes. that battle that I think would work. Even though you know the mechanics of a battle might not be easy to pull off on TV, right? And I mean, the, that particular battle should be relatively easy to do right on TV because of the scale, right? It's not a, uh, I mean, it's sort of an epic moment, but the scale of it, as far as you know, topography, yeah. is a little bit more confined. Okay, um, and especially the way that you could orchestrate writing that, um, uh, you know, and, and, and composing it on film. It, you could really do that quite nicely yeah. and have all the emotional beats, um, you know, because, you know, again, it's one of these moments where, uh, you know, Jordan so deftly brings the, you know, threads together yeah. into kind of a culmination um, of emotion and action all at one moment. Um, yeah, it's yeah. like it's not my favorite battle in the whole series, but it's up there. Yeah. And I can't wait to see it. Yeah, no, I think that's just, again, one plot line. They have the yeah. Eul Ways, Radian, yeah. the White Tower, maybe Camelin's in there. They're going to Tanchico. So it's, it's going to be a fun It's going to be a fun season. It's going to be a ride. It's yeah. going to be a ride. And I, you know, I can't wait to see how they visualize all of these things. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, I just, man, Ruidian. Like, there's so many things you can do there. And there's so many things that happen there in the books, right? right? But... You know, do you have, bringing things forward as they have kind of done. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity for some cool moves there. So. All right. What, 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 are you, what, are you, what are you hinting at there? What do you, what do you, what do you, want, what do you want to see brought forward well, there? Well, you know, look, when you get into to, to visions, right, um, you have this, um, 
this opportunity to, yeah. like, to foreground what's coming down the, the, the road. Yeah. Um, and, and, and obviously they're going to be very careful with what they do there. Mm -hmm. And so I'm any, anytime I see a filmmaker being very careful about what they're projecting, I'm very interested in that. Okay. Right. Yeah. Cause what does that tell us yeah. about what they think they're going to do yeah. and what they're going to plan to do? So, yeah. Um, so yes, I'm very, I'm very interested. Yeah. So, uh, people are trying to ask if they released anything. Um, uh, they did not, but, the, <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but they did share, um, this one clip that I'm going to play now. I don't know if you've seen this, okay. but this is Rosamund Pike, um, narrating a fan favorite, um, moment from The Great Hunt. Hi, I'm Rosamund Pike, and I play Moraine Damadred in Prime Video's The Wheel of Time. Let me read you a little bit from The Great Hunt. It was so easy now. The flame consumed fear and passion and was gone almost before he thought to form it. Gone, leaving only emptiness and shining Sidene. He reached for it, and it filled him, made him alive. The world flickered. He was a soldier. He was a shepherd. He was a beggar and a king. He was born, lived, and died an Aiel. He died mad. He died rotting. He died of sickness, accident, age. He proclaimed himself the dragon reborn and flung his banner across the sky. He ran from the power and hid. He lived and died, never knowing. A hundred lives, more. So many he could not count them. And at the end of every life, as he drew his final breath, a voice whispered in his ear. I have won again, lose Theron. Flicker, 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 flicker. That's the magic of Robert Jordan. Pretty magical, right? Flicker, flicker. You can't, you can't unhear it. Her doing it now, like that's that is that's canon now. Wow, that's canon. So we're in Jordan Con. It's Sunday morning. Um, people, I've seen a lot of it people is. coming out of the, the, the dealer's hall, the vendors, yes. uh, the cherry auction was yes. amazing. There was a lot of really cool stuff. Was there stuff that you were like, you know, um, interested in or liked or yes. won? Uh, two people have got the things I was bidding on. Okay. Uh, I don't know who they are. Okay. I'm jealous of them. Okay. Uh, so there was, there were two things I, I thought were incredible for the, for those who don't know the, uh, uh, Michael Livingston. This right? is Michael Livingston. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, Brett and Danny from the Wheelies podcast. Are, were, are you guys talking about the charity thing? Yeah. We are. Yeah. The auction. Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Is that one of the things you like? That's one of the things. One. Yeah. Right was, there. Was there something was the else thing, specifically yeah. you were looking for? Yeah. Uh, well, the other thing I was I had been bidding on was the uh, the bobblehead. Right. Yeah. yeah bobblehead. Why, why would you want the bobblehead? Uh, so I, Robert Jordan's desk is in my office, and I was like, the bobblehead I thought would look, like, look cool on the. You know what? Yeah. We happen to agree with you. I think that I think it would be pretty pretty cool to have Robert Jordan's bobblehead on Robert Jordan's desk. So yeah. I went out of my way last night to uh, maybe put a bit of a bigger bid on the bobblehead. <laughs> a fiscally responsible decision. Fiscally irresponsible. And we have a gift Some for you. Wives might Are say. you kidding? For Robert Jordan's desk. Oh my God. So y'all gotta be careful. Yo, yeah, like, it's so a be, real be careful. bobble. It's so the bobble. Oh my God. And it's for you, everybody. Look at this. Jordan's desk. Yes. Okay. Thank you, guys. Be careful in transit because you, the yes. base is fragile. The base is I've fragile. Been, and we got to wrap it up real Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's wrap okay. it up real good. I'm there for yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, yeah. You got it? All right. I got Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So oh, my God. You. Thank you, guys. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry I ran the price up on you. You certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> and let, me, let me tell you about how I didn't know what his max bid was. Oh, and, do uh, I want to know what his max bid was? No. no. Okay. Gus it's, and Allie it's were like, bad. oh, we were out bid. Oh, did you get it? Michael didn't get it. And I was like, no, we didn't get it. That wasn't us. I just he, forgot to, just I forgot to mention me it. Yeah. What his max bid was. I was like, no way. We, no, that wasn't us. We didn't spend that. Who would have done that? Who yeah. would have done what that? crazy thing? person. <laughs> oh my God. Who would have done that? You guys right. are the best. This yeah. guy. Everyone, the best. Danny and Brad from the Wheelies podcast. <laughs> Subscribe. Listen. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> It's amazing. I'm going to take pictures of that on the desk and post it on socials. That's amazing. Uh, and I need to make sure they get tagged on it. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so that was the other thing, right? So, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Uh, I don't want to pick it up again. That's, <laughs> that's a hundred. Oh my god. All right. So, all right. So yeah, there were two things. Uh, one of which was this, yeah. right? So, so yeah. If you don't know, Robert Jordan's desk is in my office. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was like, what? How perfect would that be? Yeah. Um, sure. And it will be perfect. Yeah. Um, all right. And, this and fandom, the, man. This and fandom. this. And yeah, that's the other thing. So, uh, so Anna, I, yeah, she's not here. Yeah. Um, made this thing. Incredible. She was telling me she was doing this, and and sending Maria and I. And Maria's like, hi, Maria. We love Maria. Maria. Um, uh, you know, sending notes. She'd seen the, the photos of uh, of the of the desk, and uh, decided to make this this diorama mm -hmm. of the desk. Um, and try to make it as accurate as she could. She was sending notes back and forth uh, to Maria and myself, uh, trying to get the details right. It was incredible. All the little drawers opened, um, and all the little details, right? There were, um, she's got the Wheel of Time uh, series on top, just like I have them in my office. The Wheel of Time map above it, which um, nobody's uh, been in my office since, I've, since I actually had that, but that's now how it is in my office. Um, and then a, like a little picture of the, White Tower at the Citadel, which I mean, it's just, it's incredible. Um, so yeah, I I, 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 I took a shot at that too. That went, that went for a lot. So we have someone coming. No, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! Uh, um, yeah, so that that was, I mean, it was it was incredible. Yeah. And but you know, there were dozens of things that were amazing. The makers who who do. Uh, such incredible, in, inventive, the the blankets, yeah, um, the Chris the North Harbor one. <laughs> so I was like, that's so good, that's so good. But you can't put that in your like in your. I, well, I couldn't put it in my. I'd have to explain it to all my colleagues. Like, what is that? What does that mean? And then that gets uncomfortable. I think so. Uh, but yeah, They're like, incredible. and that's the White Tower out there that Jim. Right. Well, they know that, right? Because they they. Uh, you know, being, I have a lot of, I have a lot of people come to the Citadel, uh, and try and just stop by my office. And so my colleagues kind of know, right. And they're like, oh, you're here to see the desk or whatever. <laughs> um, you know, and so, uh, they kind of, they're kind of used to that. Yeah. Um, which is, which is fun, which is fun. I'm, I'm constantly giving my colleagues like trouble. Yeah. You know, like, so you don't, you don't have people coming to take pictures in your <laughs> office. That's weird. That's weird. I yeah. do. Uh, yeah, so Michael. There, there you go. You, you have the bobblehead. My head. God, my God. And uh, thank you for for stopping by and, and oh chatting. My God. You know, thank I, you guys. I, I was like, I was like, you have to stick around for this. There's a reason uh, I asked you <laughs> to, to, to. This be is on. amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, that's yeah. that's incredible. Everybody's also awesome. All right. I salute you guys over there. All right. Thanks. Uh, so, thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Neighbors, do you want to come over and uh, and chat? So uh, I'll take that. Put it here. Get out of the man's way. Right. Right <laughs> <laughs> there can't be a live JordanCon Dusty Wheel stream without Nablus standing in front of the camera. I guess. Yeah. yeah I yeah. guess. Yeah. You've done this every year. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I'm not that funny. I've got the same three jokes. I just do them over and over again. So yeah. that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically so, um, how, how, you know, like we didn't get anything in terms of, you know, actual season three or any future season you know news well i mean aside from the 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 teaser <laughs> clip with ran with calendar yeah <laughs> other than that we we didn't right and right i that, was a little disappointed that was all we got that, that was all was we the, got yeah but yeah and i mean uh, you know going off the last three jordan cons at least right we they had they, they dropped something yeah. and the fact that it didn't um what do you think that means? Is there is there not much? They're keeping everything. What are they waiting for? You know, is there a cast well, announcement that they're waiting for? So keep in mind, I think we're a bit spoiled. I think a lot of this is timing. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they literally just finished filming. Yeah. So I don't think if we were going to get anything at all here, it would not have. It would have been a season two deleted scene. They're yeah. Like why they're, they're, they're not even <laughs> editing yet. Like so, I I don't I don't I wasn't expecting any season three anything. Frankly, yeah, we're a year away from getting that stuff. I thought a cast announcement would have would have would have worked, right? Like, there's a few that we've been hyping up mm -hmm. for a little while, right? The Elida, 
casting. Uh, Rafe has mentioned Elida, uh, sh- who we think is playing Elida, Shorak Dashlu, has been like interacting with the fans online. <laughs> like it's it's the writing was on the wall. I don't know. I don't know. You're the, right. The open secret. Yeah, that, exactly. Yes, and uh, and maybe it's you know she's a huge star, so maybe you know doing that at Jordan Con where they're waiting for something else. You know, it's odd. It's uh, Amazon's marketing department has uh, things that they do that we may not understand about why they want to announce these things when they do or yeah. why they don't. Mm-hmm. Or there may be contractual things that we don't know about when they can officially say these things. I, I couldn't even begin to speculate. Um, but it is, I think the oddity for at least all of us is that it is an open secret. Like we know a lot of castings and we know who's playing who and they haven't officially announced these things. Yeah. But keep in mind, too, we are the diehard fandom, right? And they may have a strategy for how they want to release this to the people that aren't searching YouTube Mm -hmm. every other week to say what happened with real time, right? So, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me, but then I don't probably know everything for it to make sense. All right. So, so we know there's another con in a few months. What do you hope Mm -hmm. to get a walk on? Oh, we'll have some stuff. All right. We'll have okay. some stuff. All right. Okay. Nameless is promising yeah. season three. So our our marketing department at WatCon is going to kill me for doing this. But, okay. Um, Just tell them. Tell everybody. What do you have? So we have a couple extra guests that aren't on the billing. Okay. Rosamund Pike <laughs> will be in attendance. Um, <laughs> she's a huge fan. Sky, she's the Skyline um, Chili. Yeah. She loves Skyline Chili. <laughs> yeah. Rafe will be there. Rafe, right, right. I mean, I, I thought everybody knew that. Well, yeah, duh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then on top of that, yeah. um, actually, Tom Cruise will be there. Now, <laughs> I understand most of you don't aren't aware, but Tom Cruise will be playing As, Samuel in the oh, show. Oh, Samuel. Oh, okay. They All wanted right. to find a short actor. They went with Tom Cruise. Um I think so again, I, I, right. I, I'll break that here live on, yeah. on the Dusty Wheel. <laughs> um, so, to recap, Rafe Judkins, Rosman Pike, Tom Cruise at WatCon. And if that doesn't happen, it is a NASA's fault. Right. Okay. For, for, for one person that we know will be coming to WatCon... Is Matt Hatch. So, Inkeeper Hatch is, is coming back, right? Yes, he will be there. In fact, he, I was he, talking to him about it. Not that long ago. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. He 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 keeps telling me things he's going to do and he doesn't do them, and I keep oh? asking him, "You're still coming to walk on, right?" And he's like, "That I'm definitely doing." Oh, he's there. Yeah. He'll he'll be there. Yeah. Um, he better be because he's hosting it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, Guy Roberts will be there. Guy Roberts um, will and be there. It was amazing actually this weekend here at Jordan Con to get to hang out, and spend some time with Guy Roberts. Yes. Um, Really cool guy. Lots of fun stories from behind the scenes um, that I can't wait for him to be able to share with everybody on the main stage at WatCon. Yeah. So that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and we've got some uh, some fun panels planned for, for Guy. He's a sport. So um, there should be some fun coming there. Yeah. No, yeah. Guy has been amazing this, this whole weekend. Um, I, I love how he's like, you know, you know, I have these, you know, story to tell, but it's really like Rosamund's story to tell. But let me tell you anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he leans in and he, and he, and he tells it really well. Uh, you know, the fact that he's a fan makes it even even more awesome. So, yeah, it's, it's, it was awesome to have him here. And I think it'll be awesome to, to meet him again at least a, at a couple of Wheel of Time conventions later Absolutely. this year. Absolutely. He yeah. will also be at MalkyrieCon. Yeah, so that's, that's awesome. I mean, he... In Prague. He lives in Prague, and Malkyrie Con is in Prague in September, so that people who are going out there... Let me fun. throw this out to everybody. If you need a reason to visit Prague, take this as your reason, but Prague is like the most beautiful city ever, and so you should all go to Prague, period. Yeah. So highly recommend, 10 out of 10, go go to Malkyrie Con too. All so. right, Okay. Anything else you you know you're looking forward to? This is the end of you know Jordan Con. We have maybe a couple more panels left. And that's about it. Uh, what what what's next for you? Neighbors? Well, you know it's always uh, it's interesting because I think you've been to enough Wheel of Time conventions. Panels and things are great, and I love talking about the Wheel of Time. But I think the reason that you come to these things is to hang out with the people, yeah. right? That you the, the the fellow nerds, 
So I, I enjoy that part of this. Yes. And I think, uh, you know, that's why, obviously, we'll spend the rest of the day doing that. But yeah. that's why I look forward to things yeah. like WatCon is we get to... Yeah. Do, 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 do people here who are sitting watching us actually want to come kind of back here, say, say hi to, to, to everyone out there that's, that, that may be, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just, you know it's, what? There's only, it's just, it's just, you know emergence. what? She did not get an opportunity <laughs> to do any scream singing. Yeah. So I want to give her the opportunity. <laughs> Delusions, could you please scream sing a song for us? I can't do it without my Isgro. Right. I need I need Jen can, can, on can, a chair can with you me. smash to black though? Can we smash to black right we're, now? We're, we're gonna smash to black. I think I think okay, I, I think, I I think I this is how we're smashing to black. All right. We really need okay. to channel the inner tank top Taylor. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I, I'm gonna you know be like as we see around her. Good. And it's a good afternoon. Yeah. Well, it's not. But whatever. Good. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> it's almost. <laughs> and then smash black. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you stare around here, goodbye from the Dusty Wheel, and smash the black! You went right to kill it. Look at you, you're already. You're just done. I mean, this is like, uh, this is one really of the well. biggest scenes. Um, and now I'm like, great, my turn. <laughs> and if you don't like that, um, and you want to say, well, Robert Jordan could have made the two rivers all white. He could have, but he gotcha. didn't. So okay. I just complimented so, me on my dress, and as you can clearly see, I'm sad. I just want to call me as something along the lines of a Shida Haran analog. For the it does make sense why it outlasted the breaking. Yeah. <laughs> See, this no. is, this is why I have Therese in the show, because she's going to correct everything that Hey, everybody, I'm welcome to the Dusty Will Show. What? Me Muff Challenge. Yay! Pair of, like, baby face mounted on, like, a huge body. So, like, all <laughs> of a sudden... This is not just a like, traditional wow. fantasy, right? There, there are sci-fi elements. And just a moment ago, kind of uh, Rafe tweeted something. So let me get my guests in here with me. He and probably, let's, I would let's say, get, let's put in 70, 80% of the work. I got to be over the shoulder and be like, no.